Hi, this is Ivan with Simple Sheets. In this video, we're going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial of our idle time analysis template. This is one of over 100 pre-built and smart templates that we offer. Click the link in the description and try 5 free templates before you buy. Let's get started. The introduction sheet contains a short description about this template. Over here, we have a customization difficulty, an explanation of the sheets that come with this template, and some instructions on how you can utilize this template. And at the bottom, we have a short guide on using our templates with compatible online services. This template makes tracking your work streams idle time, so you can quickly identify areas where you can save up costs by increasing your efficiency by minimizing your idle time. First things first, we head to the database sheet. It's here where you input your details that you'll be using for the main sheet, such as the product name, the workers required for that product, and the hourly cost for the product. It's also here where we input the different departments, the common root causes of idle time, the workstations, and the utilities cost per workstation. Once all your details are there, we can move on to the idle time analysis sheet. All we have to do in this sheet is log our instances of idle time. To do that, we log in the date, the line, and product that's being worked on. And we input the time we stop the task. Then, when the task finally resumes, we also put the time here. We are given the lost time in hours automatically in this column. Next, we input the department involved and the root cause of the idle time. Once you've filled out the white columns, it will give you the operation idle costs, which are basically the costs incurred due to the utilities not being utilized that you'd have to pay for anyway because of idle time. The worker's idle cost, which is basically the hours you pay your workers but isn't put into production because of the idle time. It also gives you the total cost and beside it, you input the countermeasure status of the product and the line. Countermeasures are actions that you take in order to avoid repeating the causes of idle time. You can choose between open, in progress, and closed. Open meaning there are no countermeasures in place. In progress meaning the countermeasures are currently being implemented. And closed meaning that the issues for that idle time are resolved. On top, we have some charts to show you your idle hours per month. The amount lost per month due to idle time. Some vital metrics like total stop times, total hours lost, total operation idle cost, and total workers idle cost. We have a chart which shows the different root causes and their hours of stoppages, and a pie chart which shows the contribution of the different departments to the stoppages. This template has a ton of slicers so you can edit the charts. You can filter by line, by product, by date, and by cause department. We also have some filter buttons so you can quickly filter the data by the countermeasure status. Lastly, we have a full screen macro button which hides the ribbon so you have a larger work area as well as a refresh macro button to update your charts whenever new data is added. That's all for this template. If you want to automate your Excel processes and enhance your level of productivity, Simple Sheets Advanced Templates and University is the best tool out there. I'll see you guys on the next one.